Today's discussion is from Archangel Gabriel, who is the Archangel of Communication. So he always works with me in discussing a single word. Today that word is atonement. There are two ways of looking at this word. One belongs to the facet of your community that believes in sin and having to atone for this. The true meaning in pure spirituality is at one -ment. It refers to the truth that we are all one with God and that includes all of the animal kingdom and nature. Sin is a fiction designed to manipulate with fear of punishment. The truth is that you are a divine being temporarily inhabiting a human shell for the experience. Whilst here in this manner, you make mistakes from what you learn, hopefully. In no way are you judged by the heavens, let alone considered to be a sinner. When you incorporate at one mint in your vision, you see everyone as a part of you and therefore you give as you wish to receive. In truth, you receive even more than you give for that is how consciousness works. What goes around comes around. In this case, it comes back in abundance. The prayer from Jesus creates the feeling of at one -ment. The line that says, my life is so blessed when I see only you in others. If said with heart feeling, it creates the feeling of being joined with all in a cocoon of love. My life is so blessed when I remember that I am you. This is even deeper, for nothing is separate from God. And as you feel this, there is no room for judgment of any kind whatsoever. With this level of consciousness, you raise the vibration of the whole of life. Yes, each one of you has this effect. It is your joint effort which magnifies the feeling of at one mint into the stratosphere. This is the precursor of the new earth. Thank you for allowing me the honour of discussing the true meaning of atonement, for its importance is huge. I do love our word discussions, as I am the Archangel of Communication, and one of the ways of communicating is with words. The other, of course, is via the heart love. And so ends that message from Archangel Gabriel. It's interesting, when I ask him at the beginning of a session to choose a word, I sometimes feel that there's a choice between two and it's up to me. And from time to time this word atonement has been one of those choices and I've avoided it. I don't know why. But today there seemed to be no choice 
it was the word he wished to discuss. So I said to myself, just do it, Robin. <laughs> and I'm so glad I did, because that is a very beautiful teaching. Thank you, everyone, for listening. May you be happy and healthy and peaceful. Much love. Until the next time.